you've got the invention convention today. <laughs> Announcement: Our science teacher, Mr. Fide, is no longer with us. <gasps> He's dead? <laughs> what? No, not like that. He wanted to spend Saturday with his family. <laughs> so I fired him. I'll find a replacement next week. <clears throat> anyway, on to Melvin Sneedley with the first of his 16. Oh, actually, it's 17. 17 inventions. Take it away, Melvin. I will now demonstrate a prototype which I call the robotic sock matcher. Never waste time matching your own sock. The electromagnetic lint collector. It's digital paper system. Homework automatic. Make it end. And the personal favorite, the binder binder. Having trouble organizing your binders? Well, look no further than this giant binder. Four binders. <laughs> this is the stuff of nightmares. <sighs> we have to do something about this. I don't know. Krupp looks serious this time, George. Maybe we should just lay low for a while. Lay low? Look at our fellow children. Look upon their sad, miserable, pathetic faces. Come on, Harold. If you won't do it for me and you won't do it for you, do it for future generations. Save the first graders, the Kenny Gardeners, the unborn from a life of eternal boredom. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Feast your eyes on this, the Turbo Toilet 2000. Check it out, people. It's already programmed with my personal potty playlist. Screwdriver. Oh, Samba. Once you're done using the facilities, hit the button and let my toilet wash itself. Now included, automatic toilet paper wiping cloth. Trademark! Turn that thing off! I'm trying to, but it's not cooperating. brings our story to its happy conclusion. I hope you've all enjoyed the film. It was certainly shorter than we expected. What more is there to say? Our fellow students got to enjoy their weekend, which, by the way, they are legally entitled to. And good triumphed over evil once and for- Oh, boys! A moment, please. <laughs>